pallets, you know, wooden pallets, the things that stuff comes on. Well, we're quite fortunate here in that our local DIY, which happens to be a brick au marche here in France, well, they allow us to help ourselves to the pallets. They stack them all up to one side, what have you, when they have a bit of a clear out, and we can help ourselves. So that's what we do. As you see, there's loads of old bits of pallet behind me. And the reason why I'm collecting pallets at the moment is because I'm making things like this. I'm making lots of them. I'm making about 60 odd, uh, well, bird houses and owl houses like this, and bat roosts, etc., and various other animal habitats. Because we're doing a rewilding here in France. But the problem with, um, pallet wood is you've got to get the flipping pallets apart and that can be uh, well another pain in the neck it really can yes you can just cut along the rails like this one over here like that you just cut along these rails like that so in this case this one here i'll cut along here cut along there cut along there so you end up with loads of short bits of wood but then you end up with this yeah so i've still got to remove the nails and if i want to use this piece of wood okay so how do I deal with that? Well, there is a way. And that way is to take the pallet apart. Okay, how are we going to do that? Okay, we can use a crowbar. That's what we're going to use, a crowbar. Okay, and a hammer, maybe. Yeah, okay, you can use a crowbar and a hammer, but the likelihood is your boards are going to get split. You need a way of, well, spreading the load when you're taking your boards off your pallets or you know, dismantling your pallets. So I thought myself, I need a tool. All right, uh, yeah, so I made one. All right, for nothing. It's a freebie, that's what it is. I got the welder out, I had a bit of old, um, oh, sure, I'll come closer. That's a bit of old uh, scaffold tube. <laughs> this bendy bit, bendy bit here looks intentional, doesn't it? It looks really intentional, but it's not really, no, because it's a bit of a trampoline, yeah. But I thought, oh, that'll work, so it did. I'll use that, and it actually works, I'll show you the mo. And then I've got a couple of bits of uh, old strap hinge here welded onto this tube and it's all about the angles you see angles are the dangle and then i've reinforced it because they're a bit bit bendy with a couple of bits of angle on there and there and get a coat of just an aerosol paint just enough to stop from rusting so i'm going to show you how i use my pallet lever device you get the gist i think you do oh where, where should we go we'll go to the bit here i've got this one here this one first so basically all i do is i rest it on the rail or if there's a board there on top of the board you slot it in between the boards and then we'd, uh, well, I've got to hold the pallet down. It's only four months that way round. And then we'll leave that up like so. Without splitting the board. How about that, huh? How easy is that? And it's a free tool, and I like free tools. Oh, that one's come off the other way. using a crowbar and a hammer. That one's a bit tighter, that one is. Oops, I never put that on there. Working then. Glasses, they're pinging in your face like that one just did. So there you go. It works, doesn't it? And there it is. That's my tool. And I don't need to have a bent hand. I'm going to be a straight hand. As long as you get your angles right, so you squeeze it between. So it go between the actual boards on the pallet and then you give it a bit of a lever. Symbols. Well, I'm going to use these boards to uh, make my bat boxes, bird boxes, insect houses, etc, etc. And maybe a cage to keep the missus in when she misbehaves. Don't tell her. No, she doesn't know yet. No. 
<laughs> anyway, we've got to support our rewilding project here in France. There's a go found me link down below where we're planting a thousand trees on two acres of land on our fields here. Let me show you. On that field over there, you might be able to see some of the trees that are already planted in the distance. Did you do it? Right down to the valley, it does. And also on the field, happens to be on the other side of the veggie garden over there. So that's what we're doing. We'll be a part of that. There's a GoFundMe link down below. And uh, basically, you can buy a tree. And we'll put a tree in the ground on your behalf. And I will make a sign to go with the tree with your name on. Maybe a memory of a loved one. Well, it's just an idea, you know. Anyway, thank you for watching. And please boot the old like button. Ta-ta!